it's almost a mental challenge. It basically shows where my abs split. Very discouraged and a little bit unmotivated. I can't even go to the gym and I just need to stay active. In this video, I will show you several workout sessions as I discuss my postpartum fitness journey for the first 10 weeks getting back into working out. During this session, I focused on shoulders, starting off on the stairs to get my heart going and then perform a couple other warm-ups. Once I loosen up, I get right into the shoulder workout. Throughout this session, I perform four to five sets and a high rep count. on here and give a little recap about today's workout so today I focused on shoulders and did a little bit of legs and normally I incorporate legs and glutes in all of my workouts because majority of my time I'm sitting down especially now because I'm feeding my son multiple times in the day my doctor said because I had a c-section I'm still recovering and it's just a long process. I've been reading online and my doctor said it's gonna take months until I can really lift the weight that I used to. And, but because I have been working on, been healthy before my son, that my recovery might go by fast. So right now I can only lift 20 pounds. It's almost a mental challenge for me because I just want to lift heavy and go strong but I can't and I have to limit myself but I completely understand why I'm really just trying to um, intensify my workouts with just such light weight and you know making my body get back slowly and as long as I'm moving my body I'm happy <laughs> and um yeah, it'll be, it, it'll definitely be a mental challenge for me as well as a physical one. I didn't record anything before I started working out in the gym. So it's the seventh week since delivering Joseph. I think completing this week, it'd be the third week getting back into the gym. This is just kind of like a body update. So I think I have diastasis, what is it? Diastasis or I think it's diastasis recti. I will <laughs> put the correct name for it. And that's when the abdomen, so the, out, the outer abs split because of, you know, having the baby there, just a lot of pressure pushing outward. So I think I have that. I think I noticed that while I was pregnant because there's a big dip here that basically shows where my abs split. There are ways to heal it. I've read a lot of articles and a lot of studies about it. Your abdomen can heal. It just takes time and it's not a quick fix. And a lot of it is just uh, strengthening your inner core. The hardest thing about healing or strengthening your core is that you don't want to engage in workouts that push your abs outward because it can worsen your DR. It can make it um, split further. So it really has to come from your core. When I'm doing my weightlifting, sucking in my stomach, engaging my core, not engaging my full abs and seeing how that works out. If I'm seeing no progress with my DR, then that's probably a sign that I'm engaging my, my abs too much in my workouts. So I need to take down the weight or lessen the amount of times I work out or I weight lift in the week and focusing a little bit more on cardio and um, strengthening 
that way. So we'll see what happens. So I just got done with another gym session. It's my like, third week coming back to the gym. And um, just didn't really feel it today. Felt very discouraged and a little bit unmotivated. Kind of beating myself down because I know that my strength is not where it was before, my body is not where it was before, um, but throughout the workout I just had to remind myself that we all start from somewhere no matter where you are in your fitness journey and um, you just got to push through that and know that it, it just takes time and if you keep pushing it, you will progress, keep positive. So. It's now week five getting back into the gym, about nine weeks postpartum. I wanted to highlight another shoulder workout to show the improvement I've made since week one of getting back into the gym. In the first week, I was only lifting 20 pounds maximum for all exercises, but here, I'm able to lift 25 pound dumbbells and shoulder press 40 pounds on the Smith machine. I like using the Smith machine because it provides support and stabilization. I highly recommend using this machine for postpartum moms who are beginning their way back into lifting. Leg days are still my favorite. I think it's because many of the exercises incorporate other muscle groups. If I had to recommend one exercise to help grow glutes, it would have to be hip thrusts. It's because it hits both positions, stretched and flexed, for optimal muscle growth. If I have time, I like to do stretches and breathing techniques in the sauna to relax my body and mind. So it is, I think, the eighth week back in the gym post C-section delivery, and I'm feeling great. I feel a lot stronger. My weight has gone up. My weight in lifting has gone up. I don't necessarily weigh myself, so I don't know how much I weigh compared to um, right after delivery, but I do notice that I'm having a lot stronger lifts my muscles are getting redefined I just feel a lot stronger I feel really good so i'm gonna try to keep it going these next several weeks so it's gonna be a few months i won't be able to go in the gym so i'm gonna have to figure out another way to get a good sweat in and not lose too much of my muscle mass i just gained back so we'll see what happens i've really been getting into landmine workouts not only does it help with stabilization, which is important for postpartum moms, it also helps with muscle focus for the exercise you're performing.
You'll notice I have a lot of repeating exercises, but don't let repetition fool you to thinking it hinders progress. By increasing the weights and changing the format such as the pace of movements on some of these staple exercises, you will continue to see results guaranteed. Now this might be a strange comment to mention, but thoroughly washing your hands is super important. I normally have to apply soap and rinse twice just because I can see all the dirt in the sink. Okay, so it's the, I want to say eighth week since I've been back in the gym, postpartum C-section delivery. and. I'm honestly feeling super, super good. Right now, I can't go to the gym every single day. Um, I can only go to the gym maybe once or twice a week. Um, it really just depends if I have support at home to take care of my son. So what I've been doing is hitting full body with still focusing on progressive overload, making sure I get my weights up at least once a week so if i need if i can go heavier twice in the week if i could go in the gym twice in the week then i go heavier so that's what i've been doing so far i'm gonna have to do this for three months um honestly it's super hard to hit a workout at home i'm not a really okay i'm gonna admit i'm not a good home workout person it's so hard to focus especially with my son now um, but I, I'm gonna get into it I'm gonna try my very best so feeling really good stronger each week so making sure I have good form and sucking in my belly button working on my core throughout my movements so really good just a body update, not gonna show too much or say too much, but I think I still have diastasis recti. It has gotten a little bit lower. Don't mind the mess in the background, I'm organizing my clothes. <laughs> um, but it's a lot lower. Um, I still feel a little bit of, not necessarily a pain, but it's not something I, I'm concerned about. I do feel that my core's gone stronger ever since I've been working on core um, and yeah so this is me about nine ten weeks making sure I eat healthy a good diet and yeah I feel pretty good a little Joseph and I went on a walk and run, or kind of run. It was a little light jog. And I think I'm gonna start running again. I used to run all the time in college. I would run 12 to 13 miles a day in college. And then I stopped running because I started weightlifting. And Lucy Davis was the one who inspired me to get back to running. And I can also lift and run and not necessarily lose my muscle mass, but I mean, for now, I can't even go to the gym and I just need to stay active and home workouts are super difficult for me to do just because I just can't focus. I don't get into it. I need, I'm an environment type of person and the environment gives me the vibes or gives me um, motivation when it comes to working out. So I think running will be my new workout for the next few weeks until I can get back in the gym and then maybe I'll mix it up but we'll see so day one of run in the sun hopefully I'll continue doing this again
another day. It's actually the day I'm editing all of these clips and putting the video together for part one of my postpartum fitness journey. And I'm gonna close the video out here. I hope this video was helpful to all you new moms out there in their postpartum period. I understand the struggle and frustration of getting back into fitness. And I hope this video was also an inspiration for workouts for those of you who are not in the postpartum period. So thank you for taking the time to listen and watch and I'll see you next